first one you see is the U.S. Army. Five years ago, I would have said, heck no, to the U.S. Army. But I gave them, you know, benefit of the doubt and actually spoke with them and see what they had to offer for me. Well, they had a lot to offer for me, but I'm afraid that I don't have much to offer for them because I don't want to enlist in the Army. So the other two are News Channel 12, which they have a production assistant available for, for their company, as well as SCAD, the Savannah College of Art and Design. They also have a production assistant position opening, and I have spoken with them briefly. I also have um, seven more. These are just, this is just a small preview of what's in store for my employer's package. Now for deliverable number four is my DJ Brew Productions package. I created five independent film productions with a few help of some other gracious people, but I was able to actually keep the artistic ability from whatever I had in my mind. So the first one is the PC uh, Outdoor Club Cookout. This one was my first independent film production that I ever created outside of my television class. This one was remarkable for me because I got to show exactly the skills that I was able to acquire. And actually, I was actually most impressed with this because I was able to teach myself some techniques as well as learn a lot of techniques of editing. And I consider it to be uh, a great production because of what its purposes were for. Also, I, I filmed two theater productions, You Can't Take It With You, which was filmed on October 1st, as well as Magic Is Me. These two productions I helped produce inside the studio. Basically, I ran the switcher and I had a couple camera people that were able to assist me with that. And then also a sports, PC Sports Symposium. This is a, this is a production in which three people from the sports industry came to speak with our students and give them insight about the sports industry and where it is right now. And that was actually very interesting. Dr. Van Camper's father was a keynote speaker in that one. So we all really appreciated that. And then lastly, The Maverick. This is a production I created for my debate team. Since I'd been with their team for four years, I wanted to give a little something for them in my presentation. So The Maverick, for all of you that don't know what this means, is, is a terminology used in debate for a person that debates solo against another team, which is a two-person team. And it's very dramatic. I've done it once or twice. and. It's, it's very nauseating. Um, <laughs> I also created a logo uh, for DJ Reproductions, and this logo symbolizes individuality for my production, in which I'm very, very fond of. So you have the single person as, surrounded by DJ Reproductions, which is the name of my label. I also created a YouTube account so that I can show my favorite productions without having me having to throw out a bunch of DVDs to people. So as you can see here, I've got on the right side, I have six of my, or five of my productions, one being a video resume. And you can see here, Possessed, which is a short horror film that I produced along with Joy Yugi. And we basically created a short horror film based here on Piedmont College, which was, <laughs> what I can I say about it? It was insane, but it was really cool. It's, my favorite production because I got to show some creative te editing techniques in which I learned in Professor Arbach's class. <coughs> and then if you scroll down, you can see uh, my subscribers, you can see my friends. I only have one friend, Brian Carter. <laughs> <laughs> and on the left side, you can see recent activity that's been handled with DJ Reproductions. So without a doubt, if you'd like to see all the videos, feel free to visit that. And you can come to my table in the atrium and get the web, the web link to that. Now I'd like to show you a preview of DJ Reproductions. actually gaining experience so that you can apply for some of those jobs. 
the rest of the day because we were only actually trying to not work more than 16 hours a day. Boy, I got pictures of him with snakes and everything else. And I, I, did, I did everything I could. Which helped me out, I'm in a bit of a jam. So I see. Setting blood and having our own blood shed. Can anyone in this room name for me a single war that we look back and we say that was a good time in history? I can't believe how much I'm going to miss debate. That last production right there is of Michael Barrett. He's going to be the president of the debate team next year. And as I think about debate itself, I just realize that it's been a big portion of my life and is actually the reason why I'm in mass communications. I just thought I should throw that out there. For my fifth level, I created a documentary. The documentary is entitled Behind the Scenes of Northeast Georgian Artists. This deliverable was my most challenging because of the purpose that it was supposed to serve. The purpose that it serves is showing that I can do work outside of what people know me more for doing. I'm known for doing more kind of action with the outdoor club, spooky with possessed, and that's what people know me more as, but if I were to play this production for you and didn't tell you it was made by DJ Reproductions, you would have never guessed it was mine. The big thing about this is it shows a very sensitive side to my editing techniques and to my creativity, and I really enjoyed it. I met with John Collick, who's a renowned regional artist, who gave me an insight on what art is all about. But I have to give one thanks to somebody, and that is Candace Felice. I joined Candace as she went to John Collick's house to meet with John and two other artists, and she's a representative of WPPR. We had a lot of fun during this, this outing because we got to take many tours of this, this land that's out in Clarksville that I never thought existed. Two other artists that we met with are Graham Dillinger, who's a calligraphist, as well as Priscilla Wilson, who does board art. In my, in my productions DVD, I also created two special features. I created a walkthrough Collick's gallery, as well as a look into framing Collick's art. I felt that it was important to convey what this gentleman does and how he displays his art. As well as I created a logo so that I could actually put on so that it can represent DJ Rue and what he's capable of doing. Now I would like to show you a trailer to DJ Rue Productions behind the scenes of Northeast Georgian artists. What is art? Is it a sense of place? History? Words on a page? Or is it a part of nature's creation? Join DJ Rue Productions as we bring you behind the scenes Northeast Georgian artists to find art that you may have yet to discover. Meet featured renowned regional artist John Pollock as WPPR's Candace Police gets an in depth interview with Pollock and a few artists from the Artist Guild. Catch the behind the scenes look on PCTV Channel 60 or check out a DVD copy from the Piedmont College Mass Communications Department. And for my last literal, ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> to the compilation of all my work, it is the resume DVD for DJ Reproductions. This resume was simple. I wanted to put all of my movies and all of my short productions on here to give uh, a future employer an idea of what I can do. That included Possessed, the PC Outdoor Club, and Behind the Scenes. I would like to now show you a preview of that.
it something and I slip covered it. I put something else over it is what it could be. And I was in the Germany in the army for a year and uh, I picked up Bavaria, I absorbed Bavaria and all the details there just like I did here. I hope you had a chance to see what my work is all about and how much fun I had producing my work. This concludes my presentation. 